Hello everybody, and good day to you all today. I am talking about Agents of Shield, season number seven, episode number two, Know Your Onions. That was directed by um Eric um Lewinville. And here we had the the, H, the Shield team back in time trying to make sure Hydra be born. Because if Hydra gets created, so does Shield. And Shield doesn't get created, they don't exist. So they try to make sure everything goes according to plan, like way it's supposed to go, and do not mess up history. But then you got Daisy saying, hey! Wait a minute, why are we trying to help Hydra? How about we just kill this dude, and then that's, you know, no Hydra. But they're saying, but if you kill him, we won't exist. She said, well, so what? So you got a little debate going on what she should do. Should we kill this guy who's going to help start a, 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 a terrorist organization that's going to be pretty much try, try to destroy the world? Or should we let, it, let history play out the way it's supposed to play out, and then things are supposed to happen the way it's supposed to happen? It's the past, the past, the past alone, and we live in the present, and, which is the future. Oh, this is so weird. So, let's let it be. So yeah, the team split up into you got you got Robot Phil Coulson, you got Daisy, you got Gemma, and you got Yo Yo trying to get information from the um. Well, they're, they're trying to save Freddy's handler, make sure she stays alive, and also get information from her as well too. What she was trying to do, what, what she was trying to give to Freddy that he put the ship off, and they find out that the thing, the thing they put the ship off was the super soldier, the super soldier serum. And this was the first installment of the of the serum because this serum helps create the Red Skull, and because they because this serum, it it, it kind of trickles down and gets perfected and makes Captain America. So without this serum, Captain America won't exist. Without Hydra, shit won't exist. So you need the bad to make the good and so they try to make sure everything goes according to plan you got a, you got Mac and you got Deke working alongside Freddy not knowing who he is and trying to figure out what's going on with him they figure out what's going on there then we have on the ship we have May fully not I'm not saying she's fully recovered yet but she's recovered enough she wants to help out the crew she, she knows what's going on now she's up to date she said okay then I'm getting back on board even though she's not wearing um, 1920s attire, she does not care. Her team is in trouble. She wants to help. And you got Enoch saying, "Hey, May, how about you take a nap, take a little rest? You were stabbed in the, you were stabbed with a sword in the stomach. So how about you just get yourself together? You just, your body just heal. We didn't want to break or mess up anything internally. How about you just take a nap? That's all you gotta do. Take a nap. We handle this. You handle yourself. And everything's good. But May, I just no." You can't tell me what to do, because you're not even a real person. You're a robot. You say, wow, man, that's what hurts. Okay? That's her. I, I, I am a Kramatolian, or a Chromomicon, or is that Decepticon, or Autobot? He's something. Anyway, they have a fight, which was awesome. And so, <laughs> it, was, it was fun to watch. But it also helped calm May down. And she also got to see Phil Coulson's episode here, too. Which I was expecting to see. And so, but her response to Phil was very interesting. Because it was like this very cold and very distant. Because she knew exactly what he was. He wasn't real. And she knew he wasn't a real Phil Coulson. Even though he acts like Phil Coulson, he thinks like Phil Coulson, he's not Phil Coulson. And, and her, her response lets you know that when Phil died, a piece of her soul died with him. Because now she's more cold, she's way more angry, and and uh, I think she's gonna have more dangerous too. She's really scary. I think Phil kind of brought out her humanity again, and she actually started accepting my own life and had love, and now they got taken away from her, and now she's kind of retreating back into her old ways again, and that's not good for nobody. Ugh. Ooh. Oh. But the same thing. Works out sort of according to plan, somewhat in some ways, but it's still they managed to stop the, the the bad guy from shooting the 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 bad guy. Oh, this is so weird. This to save the day, but it also caused some different times of things in here too. With um Enoch being stuck back in time, but he uh, but he but he but he ends up teaming up with um Pat and Oswald character um Pat Oswald's character. Which had a phrase in here, which is the title of, of the show, No Your Onions. Which I kind of like that phrase. I'm going to start using it again. I'm going to start using it. Maybe I will. I don't know. Because every time you go saying, that, that dame knows her onions. That lad right there, he knows his onions. And I, I mean, even though it sounds so silly to me, I love it. I love, I love saying that. I love saying that. It, 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 it's smart just to do something. I think it's really smart. So, man, you know your onions. I just, what? You know what I mean. And just walk off. I'm gonna start using it. I might bring it back. 
Sometimes, sometimes certain phrases go away, but when you hear it again, you just you know what? It could, it could have a comeback. Starting here, boom. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Agents of Shield. And if you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, you watch it. You would you would enjoy having watching it too. And also, do you know your onions? Leave your comments down below. I think that's all I gotta say about that. So keep my channel big like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would have appreciated it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to make 100,000 subscribers. Helping my journey to get there. And for all those who have who already have subscribed, I just want to say thank you. Like I always say in my dreams of life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples. <laughs>